good afternoon, how are you? If you've not um, come to one of the craft alongs before, I'm Lexi and this is Izzy. Um, and today we're going to make some really awesome pots out of um, well, pencil pots or trinket pots out of yogurt pots. So the idea is of the craft alongs, if you haven't done one before, is that we try and use things that you might have around the house. So raiding the recycling box or things that you might already have in your craft craft supplies. Hi Debbie, how are you? Nice to see you or hear you or <laughs> see you online. Or oh, have a text from me. So that's the idea. The idea is to try and use things that are really simple and then do crafts that are nice and easy um, with little ideas that you can up, up so <laughs> So if you have a glass jar, you can do this. If you have a big uh, yogurt tub, we had to eat that for lunch today because I didn't have a big one already. I'd throw my other one around. Or perhaps a small around. yogurt. Yes. Away, away, yes. throw it away. Uh, so, or, or you can have a small yogurt pot. It depends what you've got lying around. So that's the, the main supplies from the recycling. And the other things that you'll need are some scissors, a paintbrush, Hi Betty! Oh, oh, oh. Hope you're okay. Uh, yeah, so paintbrush, scissors, scissors, and I've said tissue paper on the on the event. I said tissue paper, but I know not everybody has tissue paper, so you can use a napkin. So hopefully, if you've got, we have funky ones. We have some very funky flamingo napkins from Izzy's birthday last year we did a little hot tub party in September and um, I found these hanging around so these actually work really well and if you're a big crafter you may have some decapatch paper because essentially what we're going to do today is decapatch this and I will explain now what that is now but this is it's still tissue paper but it's patterned okay so yeah. let's get going yeah. your first job I'm just going to do a small one because I'll be talking. I can't. I can't talk and craft not very well. Okay. Take your tissue paper or your napkin, and what you want to do is, is cut them into square rectangles. I tend to cut strips first. It's a little bit easier. So if you cut a strip, and maybe the napkin's already folded, and then cut them into squares. So they're like about two centimetres along. So just cut lots of squares. So I'll do the napkin one to show you that actually works. So that would be... And with the napkin, you probably... Actually, you should have done this before I snipped it, to be fair. That was a bit silly. Is you need to take off... Because you've got two layers, you need to take off the other layer. So actually, I would just... Yeah, take the layer off and then cut them. Otherwise, you'll end up with bits of paper everywhere. In fact, I'm going to just do and do that now, so that we don't forget. <laughs> Silly me, you know. So, how's your week been, everybody? Have you been doing any crafting? Can't get it open now. Oh, mum. Oh, I know. Fail, epic fail. Here we go. So, take that off and just chuck that away. Fold it back up. And it makes for easy, easy snipping and then cut. What am I like? See, everyone makes mistakes. And then cut into your squares. There I'm already go. starting because I know how to do this. Okay. We've got some quite thick brushes, but thin paint brushes are absolutely fine too. And what I've done is, Any oh, brushes. the other thing you need is PVA glue. I, I don't know, I was doing two craft alongs a week and I haven't done one for about a week, a week and a bit, and I'm all I'm all out of sorts, <laughs> all out of practice. So get some PVA glue, some more school glue, and tip it into a pot, any old pot. Do, do, do. Yeah, there is some in there, so just tip it all, the load in. There you go. And then get your paintbrush. If, if your yoghurt pots, um, if you can't get your 
uh, the, the, these ones printed on. Sometimes they've got a cardboard, the posh ones like the, the Yo Valley, you can actually peel off the cardboard and you're left with a lovely white yogurt pot, which are great. But with this one, it, if we as we're using like a, a dark tissue paper, it should cover it fine. But you might need to do, if you're using pale tissue paper, you might need to do a couple like of Like a layers. napkin. Like a napkin, but this one's clear, so it should be fine. Take your pot, your plastic pot, and do a layer of glue. And then take a piece of tissue paper or napkin or and stick, um, stick it on. And then this is the important bit, you need to seal it. So you need to do it very carefully, so you don't want to be rough with this. Very carefully go over. And then your next job is to go next to it. So like kind with of the glue. overlap it. Overlap it right? and go next to it. So you're going to be doing little bits at a time. So if you're doing this with little ones, I recommend doing a trinket pot, because they might get bored. But with the older ones, it's great. So it then keeps me it keeps me in deep concentration. It does. It does. Okay. So you just keep going, basically. If you want to, you mix it up and cut up lots of um, different colours of tissue paper. So you could go multicoloured. So that would be really nice. That's my uh, my spares. I don't like to throw things away. Hi Zoe, how are you? Thanks for joining us. I don't like throwing stuff away. So there's random bags of Stop. leftover bits. So the other thing to say about this is that you don't want to do too much glue. Otherwise it just all dries out and then you end up with a crusty... Well, yeah, it will peel off, but thing. also it just goes really mushy. So you want a, a nice thin layer Am I doing okay? Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So keep going round. I like how it just like... It doesn't like... I like how like when you stick it all together like that, it just doesn't look right. I don't know why. Why does it not I look like? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't look like... Oh, the like pattern. That. Yeah, it it's just not matched. Really, it just... I don't. I I like it, but I don't like it. If you oh. get what I mean? You probably don't. <laughs> oh hi, Martha! Thanks for joining us. Are you crafting along, or are you just having a watch to get some inspiration? And how was your street party in the garden? Did it go well? Because Martha told us about that last time. If you don't have yogurt pots or any any other or glass jars, if you've got a glass um, a a bottle like a small drinks bottle, like a, a smoothie bottle or something, you could cover those as well and make them into a a vase. So there's lots of options. It pretty much works on any old bit of plastic and glass or coasters. Ooh. They would make very cool gifts. Um, again, if you've got really small ones doing this, you can cut pieces slightly bigger if you want to and you can rip it as well if they like ripping stuff it doesn't have to be cut you can rip it I like ripping stuff sometimes it's so funny <laughs> it is isn't it right oh just having a watch cool that's fair enough it's nice to get inspiration isn't it for later when you've got a spare minute so, as some of you may know, I've stopped doing Tuesday craft-alongs and I'm just doing them on a Friday now, so I hope that's okay. There's quite a bank of them on YouTube and in the uh, video section on Facebook, so if you've missed any, you can find them all on there. And there's quite a nice wide variety. So, as you can see, it's coming along nicely. It looks nice. If um, I just I just found that two was actually quite quite hard to do, quite hard to keep up. <laughs> so we did that for about six weeks, and we had a little break. And actually, it's it's much much easier to keep coming up with ni nice ideas. I don't want to just keep doing it for the sake of it. I want to give you really good ideas and inspire you. Um, and actually, yeah, hopefully that's all right with you. And I hope you're enjoying them. So I'm always keen to hear if you've got anything in particular. I think Martha was asking me about what to do with felt. So I haven't forgotten you, Martha. I will see if I can come up with anything. 
Is anyone crafting alive with us now? Does anyone let me know? Let me know how it's going. Any problems, let me know as well and see we'd if I can help we'd you. We'd also love to see your pictures. Yes, if you do make along or even if you make along over the weekend when you've got a bit more time and a bit more, a bit more chill. I would love to see what you make. And less schooling as well, so like there's a bigger break. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm all about the non-schooling today. Yeah, we've done all our work this morning, so that was quite nice. Yeah, that was really nice. Now, if you're doing a trinket box, 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 bo bo box, what you might want to do is you're turning me brush blue, mum. <laughs> oh yes, so I am. Um, okay. You probably need it to be quite neat up to the edges. So, oh, I'm you... just going really. Oh, that's fine. Mm, mm, well, what mm, we've mm, done. Mm, mm. What we've done with this one, so Izzy actually made this at her friend's house and she's gone along the edge with some gems which finishes it off nicely. Or if you've got some washi tape, you can go along there and actually... Um, it looks quite nice actually. Neaten up the edges. We, we just found it at the bottom of my friend's craft drawer. She's like, what's that? I'm like, that's nice. <laughs> it's very cool. Oh, so Martha's made a big house with toilet roll houses. Awesome. Have you got a picture, Martha? I'd love to see. Did you make the toilet roll houses that we made a while ago? Did you use the, the cupcake cases? I saw a really cool um, castle made out of of toilet roll ho um, toilet roll toilet rolls tubes um, online fish. this morning. That was very cool. It was absolutely huge. Massive. It was absolutely huge. So there we go, it's coming along nicely. I'm just going around the edges now, just neatening it up. Um, you can also go around the inside. I'm not going to make you watch me do that, but if you're um, using it as a little trinket box, as a gift for somebody, you might want to, to do that. It's pretty. I love this paper, it's really pretty. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> Have some tea. Sorry, <coughs> I'm in a right choke. Choking on everything today. Oh dear, don't know what that was. So I'm just going, finishing off, going around the edges. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. My, my fingers being on blue, it's annoying me. So this um, napkin's actually got some really tiny pineapples on, which is ever so cool. That's looking great. It's, it looks really pretty and satisfying. Once you get to do it, it's so satisfying. So it's actually quite hard to get. Um, it's quite hard to get gifts at the moment for people, isn't it? So this would make a lovely thing <coughs> to make. Excuse me. Um, for for somebody to give to give somebody, send them in the post. Maybe a family member. Put some flowers in the big ones. <clears throat> that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Leave it on their doorstep and run away. Ring the doorbell and run away. That would be really nice. Alright, nearly there. Oh, I like doing <clears> that. <throat> ringing the doorbell and running away. Like when, we, <laughs> when we come home from school, um, I, mom, like Dad would pick us up and Mum would be in there. We'd run the doorbell and then hide behind the car. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. Okay, so once you've covered your, I'm going to go on the bottom a tiny bit, because yep, I would. So then, like, just like to neaten it up a tiny, teensy bit, because like, I can never get things straight. Okay. Ah. Come on, cooperate. Thank there you, we go. Jakey. Sorry, gone a bit quiet there. So I've got my last two bits, uh, and I'm just going over again, just going over. Again, you need to be, like I said earlier, you need to be a bit careful with the tissue paper and the, and the um, napkins, just so it doesn't all bunch up. So just be gentle, and there you go. There you have your fabulous pot. And then, it's not dry, but make, wait for it to dry. Um, I will just do this anyway. Just crack on because that's you because you don't want to wait for it to dry otherwise it'd be here all day so mm. what I would do 
Uh, bye bye Martha and Lucy. I've almost finished anyway, or you can catch up later. But if you do have a go, do post a picture online and let me know. So these uh, gems are already sticky, but if you don't have sticky ones, just pop a bit more glue around the edge. Hold on, it's um, not cooperating very well at all. There we go. It, it worked. just finishes it off nicely with... Again, I'm not going to make you watch me go all the way round because that's just really boring. Boring. <laughs> uh, so I've got lots of, lots of gems here, so I'll finish that off later. But that's essentially how you do it. And if you're feeling, feeling really professional, and it's a shame Martha's gone, but if you're feeling really professional, you could add a little bit of felt on the bottom uh, just to make it beautiful and protect your surfaces. So I'm going to let Izzy continue that and we'll post a picture online when she has finished. And if you do do the craft, we would love to see what you make. Uh, so just pop a little photo in the comments and share it around uh, with us. And then I will share it uh, next week, all the makes that I get sent and uh, everyone can see it and be inspired by each other. So thank you for joining us and we'll be back next Friday at 3.30 and um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything you really want to use, anything in the recycling box and I will do my best and uh, I haven't forgotten about the felt. So see you soon, have a lovely weekend, take care, see you soon, bye. You say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> She's so into it. Lost in concentration. See you soon.